chat focus because today i want to tell a little story about the streamer awards because if you don't know i want a whole ass award <laughs> and we're going to talk about not just me winning the award but why i'm not happy about winning this award we'll get into that in a little moment but first some context of course everybody knows about the streamer awards 645,000 people tuned in at one point during the event on Saturday. It's one of the biggest shows on all of Twitch, and Cutie crushes it every single year. And this year was no exception. It was a fucking fantastic year. And really, the first thing that I had to do for the Streamer Awards, like my job, was to get an outfit. <laughs> that was actually the first time where I was like, oh, fuck, the Streamer Awards are coming up. I have to do some work. It was getting, it was literally getting close. And specifically, I had to get a fit that I had to match with some Crocs. So we're gonna watch this clip right here. Hello, I'm joined here with Ludwig. What, why are you doing fuck me eyes at the camp? What are you doing? We are in the- I don't know why I was doing fuck me eyes, but I will say the picture that they grabbed from this moment is kind of electric. Oh no, he's hot! I do look like I'm mewing. <laughs> I don't know why I look like I'm mewing, but I do look like I'm mewing. Let me touch it. No, you can't touch her. Besides, you're colorblind. Don't. Oh no, what happened to your ship? Oh no, something dangerous happened. Oh no, maybe it was a big wave. Oh no, I guess I can't touch it. What am I doing now then? But I guess you can't do anything because your big warship just got crushed by a big dude. And I guess all the fuel came out of the, the boat and it got into the water, I guess. Oh, and all those orcas are dying because no one gets to touch what Ludwig has ever. And I also have to use hair gel and I bought shampoo. Because I'm Ludwig. Then everything's good in my life because I have hobbies that enrich my life like pilling. Attention, all hands on deck. Popular content creators are making waves in the World of Warships franchise. Create a World of Warships PC or World of Warships Legends account and play to get in-game items inspired by fan-favorite YouTubers. Have fun with your host with the most, Ludwig Stonebeard. It's Ludwig. And his individual voiceover. We've destroyed an enemy cruiser. Stonebeard Crest Flag and the Stonewashed Ship Skin. All of this is waiting for you in World of Warships franchise. Join now and let's battle. Now, what I should mention, if you look at my fit top to bottom, everything above the boot cost me $500 to buy, which was a very reasonable price. The overcoat, the jacket, the undershirt, the pants, all tailored, $500 all in. It's a great deal, man. The boots were $1,000. Okay, it's not something I'm proud of. I'm not proud that I spent $1,000 on the boots, but you know, I will say it was part of my job. Okay, what do I mean by that? I was sponsored by Crocs to wear Crocs to the event. Now, what those beautiful people over at Crocs don't know is that I do this shit for free. <laughs> Thank you very much. Don't mind the little paycheck. I literally did this shit for free when I won Streamer of the Year two years ago. This was my fit. I wore red Crocs with a Kerchow Lightning McQueen thing and accepted accepted being the number one streamer that year. Cool, very cool. This year, I was a Crocs ambassador. And so I figured, you know, if they're going to give me a little bread to show up with some Crocs, I should make sure I show up correct. And so my idea is I would get the Crocs boots and I'd show up looking like a country guy with a bolo tie. What I actually ended up looking like was more accurately SpongeBob with the squeaky boots. Anyway, the boots were a hit. You know, they 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 definitely caught some attention. They also caught a bit of liquor. This is Rob C D during the show using my giant croc boot while he's being announced uh, as a nominee for best IRL streamer. 
doing a shoey out of it. A classic Australian tradition where you pour alcohol into a shoe and then you drink out of the shoe. And Rob CD. Beast mode. That's beast shit. And the people goes to Jenny. Shout out Jenny. So anyway, shoes were a hit. And you might have noticed if you guys watch the show online or if you follow me on Twitter, I was tweeting a lot during the streamer awards. <laughs> And every time someone would go up on stage, I would take a picture like a like a like a mother would at her son's uh, soccer game. I would go like this, and then I would post the picture online, and then I would just make up a caption about how I taught them what they know to get where they are. Crazy to think I showed Quackity what Minecraft was 20 years ago when we were hanging out like we used to do very often. So proud of him. Wolf emoji, crying face emoji, star emoji. This is so crazy. I taught him how to be gay in reference to Austin Show winning best streamed series. Except for Cutie, who all the credit in the world to her. I didn't teach her shit. She's the GOAT. And the reason that I'm clarifying here this tweet in this story is that a lot of people after the Streamer Awards have given me a lot of credit. In fact, even during the Streamer Awards, because I'm dating Cutie, people are under the impression I did something. Like, at one point, I was sitting in the venue, drinking champagne, and someone goes, dude, beautiful venue. And I was like, yeah. And they were like, great job. I was like, with what? I didn't do anything. I know that I am a big part of off-brand and fund off-brand, but guys, I, I didn't do so much of anything. I even said to Cutie and Off-Brand, I do not want to be in any of the negotiations, conversations about production for this show. I don't want any bias because Cutie, you know, she did a normal thing that you do where she reached out to a bunch of production companies. And I was like, I don't want me to be a part of the equation. It feels weird, right? This is her thing. It's not my thing. She should do her thing. I shouldn't be a part of it in any way, shape, or form. So even if I'm an owner of Off-Brand, I don't want to be a part of it. Do your thing. In fact, I had basically two ways I helped. And I'm going to limit myself to that. I did two things. The first thing, and I'll give myself a little bit of credit here, whether you liked it or not, I'm the one who came up with the idea of inviting Leviathan. We got number one victory royale. Which is why I was getting fucking lit when Leviathan came out. Oh yeah, Fortnite, we about to get out. Ten kills on the board right now. Just wiped out tomato. Ten Just because I really like the song. And Cutie was needing performers. Okay? That's one thing I did. The other thing that I did for streamer awards is I was a proud supporter. <laughs> I was sat seated at the front row in the very middle. And the reason this happens, I think maybe Cutie might like me, but also I will cheer the loudest for every single person who comes up on stage. I will laugh at every single joke. I will applause at every single moment and I will give feedback wherever it is fit. And you might have heard it throughout the show. I'm going to give you an example of it here. In fact, I'm bringing up this as an example because Nikki came up to me after the show to thank me because she heard me yelling in the crowd. And just see if you can hear me yell. Hello. Oh God. Hi. Hi everyone. Are you having a good night? <laughs> <laughs> like in a moment like that, when she says that, I literally went, yes. <laughs> I am so nervous right now. <laughs> okay. I think right there I just yelled, don't be. <laughs> okay, so and so that's, and that's what I did, right? I, I sat in the front row. I laughed really hard and, and I and I clapped really hard and I tried to support everybody who's on the stage, which led to a lot of reactions that I found out after the show, a lot of people screenshotted and uh, tweeted and uh, posted of me because <laughs> because I was I was going nuts at every single fucking second. I was just trying to be there, man. I was trying to be as present as possible, as engaged as possible. It even led to <laughs> This clip, which for whatever reason, it reminds me of that clip, I think from one of those like America's Got Talent shows where it's the kid whose face is like this. So anyway, that was it. That's literally all of my involvement with the Streamer Awards. I had no responsibilities. I didn't have to announce any awards. I wasn't a red carpet host. I didn't expect to win. And that's a key part because I did start this story by saying I, I ended up winning. I did not expect this. And I don't say that in like a very modest, humble way. I didn't expect it because I have self-described last year as the worst year of my career, right? And the events that I wanted to run, Chess Boxing 2, was canceled. And Dodgeball was a last second rushed replacement for that event. And because I didn't expect to win and because I didn't even want to win, I started drinking a bit. <laughs> nothing crazy, nothing crazy, man. I was just, I was having a good time is all. So I was a little bit drunk, right? A little bit, which isn't a problem, 
if all you're doing is sitting down eating food and clapping at an award show. It is a problem when this happens. And the winner goes to Ludwig. I got a lot of comments on how I reacted to being announced as the winner. <laughs> and I want to clarify, it is an absolute honor to win a streamer award. It is very sweet that enough people who are probably also in here watching this voted for me to make it possible. But again, it's not something I wanted to win, and we'll get into why. And I was also fucking drunk by this point. So when I go up on stage, I had jack shit all to say. I don't even remember what I said. This will be my first time watching. Uh, hey, what's up? How's it going, everybody? Everyone have a good night. Uh, this is a surprise because last year was my worst year as a creator, uh, self-described. I did fail to run a chess boxing event, but still somehow lost 200K in that process. So it's still flattering to receive this award. I hope I'm still able to make cool shit. I'm gonna say it right now, I got five years in me left maximum, so I hope in that time, I do some cool <laughs> shit. Thank you all, have a good- Dude, I just, <laughs> I just noticed Peach Jar is moving like a Hitman NPC. In that time, I do some cool shit. Thank you all, have a good night. Shout out, Cutie! By the way, high social IQ right there. I walk up to Cutie. I go to kiss her because I love my girlfriend. I see that she has makeup on. I'm like, can't kiss the, the lips. Can't kiss the cheek. Go for the shoulder. Just like fucking phenomenal play, Drunk Ludwig. Couldn't have played it better myself sober. Anyway, that was that. Now, two things we got to talk about. First thing I'm seeing in the chat right now, five years left. We should talk about that. When I say five years left, what do I mean? It means I will leave you all and abandon you for nothing to get cigarettes and never come back. Does that make you feel better? <laughs> No, okay, what it means, what it means, look, 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 look. Technically, this week, February 16th, 2019, I went full-time as a content creator. So I've been doing it for five years full-time, half of a decade. If I do another five years, that will be 10 full years. To me, I don't want to be what I, doing what I'm currently doing then. It doesn't mean that I won't ever make another video again. It doesn't mean that I won't ever go live again. But what it means to me is that I want to pursue something else in the short time that I get on Earth that is slightly different than what was working for the previous, you know, five current years that I've had and the possible five future years that I might have. I don't necessarily mean in 10 years I withdraw and become a recluse. I more so mean that I don't want my job to be pumping out YouTube videos and streams ad nauseum. That's it. Back to it. So I wasn't initially, as you could see in my reaction, pumped about winning the event. But the reason I was concerned about it is because in the past, when I have won, I've received some shit because I'm dating the person who runs the event. And there's, you know, always some accusations that it's, that it's rigged, unfair, whatever. Even though it's a very straightforward process and, you know, it is ultimately your guys' fault, that still happens. So I tried to avoid it this year. <laughs> Obviously, to no success. And of course... Literally within 24 hours of the show ending, I got a DM from, from a, actually a couple of creators. And one of them tilted me. And I'm not here to fucking start shit or, or bring up names. But they said something to the effect of, your event was actually the worst of the four. Which I was like, what do you want from me? It was so out of pocket. I don't know why the hell. It was necessary to throw that out at me, but that just happened. I think in part because I happened to date someone who runs a dope-ass event that is the most important streamer award show of the year, bar none. And so that's the message I got and I was fearful of getting in the lead up to this. Why I didn't nominate myself, why I don't vote for myself, why I don't tell people to vote for me for streamed event, and why, frankly, I got drunk as shit because I was hoping I wouldn't win it. I'm not, again, I'm not, look, I don't, here's the thing, I don't give a fuck. Because ultimately, I won this on what I consider my worst year ever as a creator. This year, my events are gonna be so fucking godlike that that person and any other creator would not even come close to being able to make what I make. So I don't care, that's my focus, that's my mindset. I don't give a shit about starting shit with them. I will just do shit they will never be able to do in their life till they die. And that to me is much more empowering than fucking getting into a spat with them. 
So I appreciate you guys for helping me win this against my will. But I'll make sure if I ever win any trophy, any award, that there is no question in hell that I deserved it. And that was basically my streamer awards in a nutshell. Really fucking amazing event. Big shout outs to Cutie. Streamer awards after party also sick because I got this moment. I'll end on a positive note here. Just me and Selbit. <laughs> Losing our voices. Singing good old fashioned My Chemical Romance. And that was it, man. It was fun. <laughs>